Peter Fruchin. What a guy. His accomplishments in life include escaping an ice cave only armed with his bare hands and his own frozen feces, escaping a death warrant issued by the Third Reich officers, and being the fifth person to win the jackpot on the game show, The $64,000 Question. Let's go back to 1886 in Denmark, where Peter Fruchin was born. His father was a businessman and wanted nothing more than a stable life for his child. So Peter enrolled in the University of Copenhagen and began to study medicine. But it wasn't before long Peter realized that a life indoors was not for him. He wanted a life where he was outdoors to explore and to experience danger. So he dropped out of the University of Copenhagen and began a life of exploration. In 1906, he made his first expedition to Greenland, and he was with his friend of the name Nud Rasmussen, and they sailed from Denmark as far north as possible, and then left their ship and continued on dog sled for 600 miles. And on their travels, they met and traded with the Inuit people, and they learned their language and accompanied them on hunting expeditions. Peter felt right at home with the Inuit people as they hunted walruses, whales, and seals, which gave him a feel of danger and exploration. And with his six foot seven stature, it made him very qualified to even hunt polar bears. And before long, he had made himself a coat out of a polar bear he killed himself. And then in 1910, Peter and Nud established a trading post in Greenland, naming it Fuel. And one of his future trips exploring Greenland, part of the fuel expeditions, which was named after his trading post he created, he went out to test a theory that claimed a channel divided Greenland and Perry land. And during the trip, he and his crew was caught in a blizzard. Peter attempted to take cover under a dog sled, but that didn't work, as snow buried on top of him and then turned to ice. At the time of that expedition, he wasn't carrying any weapons like daggers or spears or anything like that. So he fashioned himself a dagger out of his own feces and dug himself out of the ice cave he had been trapped in. But he didn't stop there. Once he got back to camp, he realized his toes were basically decomposing off his body and his leg had suffered from frostbite. So he did what any normal person would do. He cut off his toes and replaced his leg with a peg. And then later he returned to Denmark in the late 1920s and became a regular contributor to the local newspaper there. So now it's World War II. And Peter, he was a bold and proud anti-Nazi and hated Hitler. And Hitler saw him as a threat. So uh, Hitler ordered all his Nazi followers to arrest him and sentence him to death. And, uh, well, they captured him. But he escaped Nazi control and he fled to Sweden. He would eventually move to New York, where he would join the New York Explorers Club, where a painting of him still hangs on the wall to this day amongst the taxidermized heads of exotic wildlife. He would pass away at the age of 71 in 1957, three days after completing his final book, called Book of the Seven Seas. His ashes were scattered over Theol, Greenland, where his life as an adventurer began. Something else that I found funny and sort of confusing about Peter Fruchin's life was the names of his family. So, back in 1911, Peter, he married a Inuit woman named, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, I'm just going to put it on the screen. And then he had two children with her, and he had a son named, I'm going to put it on the screen again, I'm not going to pronounce that. And then he had a daughter, who I'm her name, I'm going to put on the screen so you can see it. But you can see they're crazy long, and there's no, it's, I don't know, I just don't understand. Music